morning people good morning world you're watching the LP diaries and you're on good morning with L now it's only halfway good morning you know why because beside uh, beside this bad weather because it's been raining again the Sun came out again for maybe one or two days and we're gonna have rain again <laughs> It's keep going. It's driving me crazy. I really can't stand it anymore. Anyways, but beside the bad weather, you know what else I hate? People without common sense and bad neighbors. Yes, that's right. I hate bad neighbors. And I've got plenty of those in my house. Recently, next to my apartment, two new girls have moved. Well, it's been maybe a month now. I haven't met them yet. I only hear them and they haven't really annoyed me so far I haven't had real problems with them besides the fact that they never pick up their laundry from the hallway where we have the hallway common common it's a common area for everyone in the house because we do our laundry there we use the washing machine together and we also hang the laundry on the line in the same place so I basically can't really do my laundry whenever I want now because I have to wait for them to take their laundry out of their washing machine because they forget to get it out and it stinks and they also forget to take off the laundry from the rack and because it's been raining so much and that place it's kind of closed although we do have windows somehow it's not enough air in there and it's very moisty the laundry starts smelling like mold yeah so it stinks on the whole hallway like mold from their laundry and also from other things they're getting moldy now on that hallway because of this bad weather so here's what happened last night I was going to sleep nicely at 10 30 usually my bedtime is 10 but for some reason last night I just didn't feel like sleeping but I still went to bed at 10 30 and I fell asleep quite quickly which I usually do and then suddenly boom I just like wake up you know like just my eyes are open because I hear this loud thunderly laugh from a few people this time sounded like there's a guy in the house as well anyway and he leaves and he slams all the doors of course typically and then it kept on like that for the whole night yeah it must have been like 1.30 or 2 when I finally got to sleep because they've been going on and on talking and banging doors in the house and slamming I think the door of the microwave and slamming probably also their dishes in the sink I don't know I can hear everything and they kept giggling and laughing and screaming and whatnot and being all noisy and I got really annoyed I usually for some reason, I mean, since they moved, I, I've heard them before talking, but like I didn't get annoyed about it. I just could sleep through for some reason. I, yeah, I, I could just sleep through. But usually I do wake up when I hear people talking and stuff in the next room. But somehow tonight, I don't know. I mean, last night, not tonight. I don't know why. I just couldn't sleep. I could hear everything. And so finally I um, turn on my computer because I just couldn't I didn't know what else to do you know I turned on the computer and I said okay well I watch one episode of my favorite series now and I probably fall asleep so um, the, the movie I mean the episode was loading in the meantime as it was rolling and stopping quite a few times and I could still hear them talking because oh god they're still not sleeping I hope that the episode doesn't like end and then I have to like get up again and put another episode so I can cover all that noise that comes from the other room but luckily I did fall asleep and I left the computer on thinking it's gonna turn off eventually by itself but it didn't after a while I had to wake up again and close the computer so I woke up a couple of times last night which is really not good because I get pretty grumpy in the next day if I don't get to have a whole night through sleep anyway but this morning I it was not so bad I thought I would be like not be able to wake up or I was a bit worried I won't even hear the alarm and I would be like super sleepy and not wanting to get up 
but it's not so bad, it's alright. But I still covered my face because I think I got still like dark circles, so I don't want you to see my dark face. I mean my dark circles. <laughs> anyway, so this is not the first time this happens with my neighbors. It happened before and it's always the same thing, you know, it's like always either the laundry or the washing machine, they turn on the washing machine around 12 o'clock and it finishes at 2 a.m. and wakes me up or slamming the doors, walking out in the middle of the night and slamming the doors and yeah, so this story is not new but I just want to talk about it now with you guys. What do you think? Is this okay? I mean, I know this happens to many people and I know that I'm not the only one, but Really, I mean, we're in 21st century, people still don't have like the common sense to think okay, there are other people around me and I'm being loud and really, they really don't think about that. I don't know. I'm always conscious of that when I'm in the house. I always, like I know that after 10 p.m. it gets quieter, people don't make that much noise around, so um, I'm conscious and I try not to like slam things around the house and do laundry at that time. I mean, come on, if you go to bed and your laundry s stays in the washing machine because you go to sleep, don't you think that in the mo next morning when you wake up your whole laundry is going to smell? You don't really care about that. Because I do. I hate taking out the laundry and stink. I mean, I put it in there because it was stinky and dirty and I don't want to take it out of there stinking worse like mold right um i want it to smell nice you know like fresh laundry so i don't know people just don't think about those things you know i mean you calculate you put the laundry in and you know that it's going to be finished in an hour you don't go to sleep or or i don't know you don't go doing other things you think about it you know hey i gotta get the laundry out but i guess not everyone's like me they're youngsters these days who so don't care about those details but still, I still think I was, even when I was young, I was thinking about this. Maybe it's just my upbringing, I don't know. I just had like really conscious parents teaching me all these different things, you know, or yeah, it must be that. It must be the upbringing and education that you get at home. If parents don't teach you that to have common sense and education, then I guess that's just how people are. And it doesn't matter what nationality it is. Trust me, it doesn't matter. I thought that, sometimes I thought that maybe Koreans were just not, you know, well, uh, well educated and brought up well because of their history background and their um, war and everything, you know, I blame it on that. But it's really not just the Koreans, it's a lot of foreigners who do the same thing too. So it really has nothing to do with nationality at all. Anyways, this is my rant for this morning. Um, I don't think I want to add anything else to it. Let me have a sip of coffee. I have coffee with me. I need it this time. I wanted to quit. Remember last time I said I would quit? I can't. Look, these kind of situations make me really tired and I need to have coffee. Otherwise, I can't function the whole day. Damn it. Yeah. I'm drinking my coffee from a plastic bottle. <laughs> it's easier to carry it with them. Anyways, you guys, I love you. I hope you guys don't have bad neighbors like me and you have a good night's sleep. And I also hope you guys have a good day. A sunny day, not like a... I mean, we're getting some sun, but it's still cloudy, so I'm not sure. What's it gonna be exactly? Can't really trust the forecast these days. It says, on the days when it says it's gonna rain and I'm all prepared, it's not raining. And on the days when I'm not prepared, it's just raining, so anyway. I just really hope you guys have a good day and stay inspired and positive and I guess forgive your neighbors. I gotta forgive mine too, so. Hopefully I'll make friends with them and I'm gonna tell them to be more quiet and educate them a little bit about, you know, having common sense. <laughs>
Anywho, I love you guys. Have a good day. See you again on the Good Morning Talk with Laura. I'm gonna go head off to my work now. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Tschüss. Zoom out.